What up fam? Today we're gonna learn how to make this beautiful knotted jar lantern. Stay tuned. For this project, I just used a jar, this sea glass spray paint from Krylon, and a roll of jute twine. After prepping my work area, I removed the jar's lid and positioned it upside down on my plastic. Then I sprayed on a coat of my sea glass paint, making sure I covered the entire jar evenly. This stuff leaves behind a really beautiful semi-opaque finish that I think adds some interest and age to the whole piece. All right, now it's time we bust out our jute. I started by tying a loop in the middle of a length of twine to act as our first handle. Then I secured it around the neck of my jar and tied another loop across from the first. These are gonna give us a place to hang our lantern from later on. Next, I fold some twine in two and measure it out to be about two and a half times the size of my jar's length, cutting it to size with my scissors. Then I use that length to measure out five more just like it, giving me a total of six lengths in all. Now I fish the folded lengths of twine through the neck wrap to form this little loop and pass the loose ends through to lock them into place. Now I just continue this step all around the jar until all six lengths of twine are in place and evenly positioned. With those in place, I take one leg from two adjacent knots and tie them together to form this little triangle here. Then I turn the jar a little bit and tie the next two legs together in the same way. I continue this all the way around the jar until I get back to the beginning knot. At which time I do the same exact thing using legs from the next two adjacent knots down the jar. It's just gonna continue this way until I reach the very bottom of the jar with my knots. After that, I pull the free ends into two bundles and secure them tightly at the bottom of the lantern, cutting off all the excess with my scissors. The finished result is this really simple but beautiful net design. To add an easy handle to this, I just cut three lengths of twine and braided them together into one line which I then tied onto my handle loops that I made earlier. Finally, I decided to hide the threads at the top of the jar by wrapping some twine up there as well. And check that out! This project is super easy and gives me a beautiful light to learn spells under. Thanks for watching and as always, Keep leveling up, you.